Hey everyone, my name's Goldfire Prime, and welcome back to the show. So today what I have for you guys is a bit of an interesting review, which is on the Transformers The Last Night Legends Class Crosshairs. Now, what makes this guy special is he has like two stories behind him. So I did do a review on this guy back in Bone Bashin, but that video was so awful, like god damn. That, like, I had to take it down. And that was, like, back when Bone Bastion was still kicking. And, yeah, it, it was just that awful. So, I'm doing a Redux review. And, also, another story is... This is one of the first Transformers that I ever got with my own money. I remember back in 2018, had $5 with me. Went to HEB and I saw this guy in the toy aisle. And yeah, so be doing a review on this guy because there's gonna be a new studio series figure of the last night crosshairs. And since this figure made uh crosshairs a bit special to me, I think I might get the studio series figure. But until then, I'm gonna be looking at this guy. So here he is in vehicle mode, and as you can see, he I presume he is a uh, Corvette Stingray, and yeah, he is in a really nice green that's a bit metallic. You can see a bit of like the flaking and glitter in the plastic. Looks really nice. And you do got a nice silver Autobot logo right there. And the only other paint applications you get is like this big old stripe. Goes all the way there. And that's it. That's all there is to break up this guacamole. Guac guacamole. So he he just looks kind of boring. I wish there was more pain in this guy. And how does he roll? He does not roll very good because it was around the time where Transformers, they started to cut corners. and Which means that they started to use mushroom peg wheels. And the smaller scaled figures, they really suffer because, look at that. This thing cannot roll at all. Why don't we transform and roll out mode? So, transformation is very simple. What you want to do is get out the arms, like so. And then you take out the legs. And then you slide them apart. You don't split them, you just slide them, like so. Then you fold down the feet, like so. And then you fold this up, which is on a double hinge. And then you get everything situated. And you get the chest, open it up. And you see like the little tab in there, give you a leverage to fold up the head. Ah, got my finger. And here you have Transformers The Last Night. Crosshairs in raw mode and for a legends class figure This guy is a very very good representation of crosshairs from Transformers the last night He looks really really good. I really dig him. So for detail He does have a nice head sculpt which looks very very accurate to how he appeared in the movie and you see like the little goggles on his forehead painted blue eyes and Painted silver faceplates. And the only other paint apps you get is some black accents. Like around the chest and the arms. And also on like the skirt if you will. Yeah, did I mention that crosshairs? He has like a bit of an interesting design. How there is like a coat that goes all the way down to his legs. And yeah... He looks nothing like how he appeared back in G1 when he was a target master. And on the back, the the kibble actually makes a pretty decent sort of illusion of a cape. Especially for a Legends class guy. So, yeah, I'll give him that. So, for articulation, he does have a ball joint on the shoulders... And up and down on the neck. And you got a ball joint in the hip. You don't got very good uh, range. So it's pretty much useless. 
got an up and down the ankle and yeah that's pretty much all there is for robot mode now why don't we get on to some size comparison so everyone here is crosshairs next to my next review Transformers Beast Machines Buzzsaw and as you can see Buzzsaw he is a lot taller than Crosshairs and this guy back in 1999 he was a size class called Basic which was like in between Legends and Deluxe so yeah he's a lot taller than Crosshairs and next we'll have a another green transformer dark of the moon cyberverse ratchet and as you can see he is a tad bit taller than crosshairs and they are in the same uh, size class and yeah look at look at all these green transformers you know what that means guac gamole Guac guacamole, guac gamole, guac guacamole. What are my final thoughts on Transformers The Last Night? Legends class crosshairs. Well, I think this guy, he is, for the side class, a very, very nice figure. I do recommend him for a fun little crosshairs figure. And, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't out any of my new videos. You can follow me on Instagram. Same name, Goldfire Prime, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.